Hey there, Star Wars Galaxy Heroes fans. This is the Gerbil, and I'm back with the Road Less Traveled to show you how to keep your Commander Luke team viable, even in mature shards, staying top 100 arena. This is going to be against a full on Relic 7 with 1 6 gas team now gas is ranked three in meta right you got your galactic legends and then you got gas all you got to do is pound your way past darth revan avoid padme like the plague and then you're going to hit a big cluster of gas general anakin skywalker and this is where you're going to thrive because the only strategy you need the only strategy for success is to push that auto button up there in the top that's it if you've got your relics on and you've got your mods well balanced no you don't even have to have the best mods you basically just need offense or crit damage mods and high crit chance which will get through the relics anyway but all you got to do is hit that automatic see that was it 40 some seconds gas goes down automatic victory congratulations collect your payout whenever your time is get those crystals here's another one full sevens relic seven look at that 157,000 power gas team we got the same squad, Commander Luke Skywalker, Chewie, Thrubaka, 3PO, and Han Solo. And let's just speed this up. Now this one, I did not hit automatic because, well, sometimes you actually want to play the game, you know? I mean, it's not fun to just always let the game play itself, but the outcome is a lot easier on, you know, if you're, if you're not going automatic, but it's really not that different. I mean, your choices really don't change that much. I mean. Look, the clones just went down in under a minute, and then General Skywalker stands up, and the rebels just laugh and say, take a nap, delete. Now here's just two more examples from today and yesterday, just for fun. Here's another one on full automatic. And I don't remember, I think this one I might lose a character. Let's find out. It's very rare. I mean, I, I have yet to lose against gas with this lineup. It's, it's just disgustingly powerful. And, um, it's a lot of fun to watch. I've also been rocking it in uh, Heroic Sith Raid just for fun to see how it does. I've gotten 14, 15 million damage on full auto. All right, here's another one. I think I manually control this one. Again, sometimes you want to play the game. Now, I'm going to show the mods on my team in just a second as soon as we lay these people down. Do, 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 do. Bye bye. Okay, Arc Trooper, one shot. Goodbye. Oh, look at that. He stayed alive one turn. Okay, gas is gone. Okay, great. All right, so here's my mods. I don't mod them the way I think everybody suggests online. I've got offense and crit chance on through Baca uh, because I just want him, you know, he takes a shot every turn, so you want him hitting crits as much as possible. Chewbacca, I've got offense and tenacity. Han Solo, I got crit damage and potency. Uh, Commander Luke, I've got speed and health. I know most people say potency there, but I don't really find it makes a huge difference. And then 3PO, speed and health. You just want him to go as often as you can. All right, thanks for watching.